Hey coaches, appreciate you tuning in to my YouTube channel. This week has been defensive terminology. So went through a lot of the run type stuff. Went through gaps, keys, leverage, fits. Now we're going to get into kind of a, you know, the different people that want to talk about different ways to cover. We are a big match team, and that could be cover two match, cover four match, cover three match. Um, it could be whatever it is. And the word, reason I just left that blank there is because I think you can do this with any type of zone defense. Um, if you watch the national championship game, there are not very many colleges that still do spot dropping. Uh, what that means is the old way we would teach cover three or cover two or cover four, whatever it was, we would give landmarks and our guy would go to that landmark. Okay, that's old school zone. Some teams get away with it. Generally now, offensive coordinators are starting to figure that out and they're picking on them. And you saw, if you watch the national title game, how Alabama really exposed Ohio State. Um, some of that was obviously personnel. Some of that was Ohio State was spot dropping and Alabama was running guys through those zones and hitting in those open spots. So that's where a lot of teams now have gone to pattern match or cover two match or palms to you hear a lot of different terms they're all good i don't claim to be a an expert on that stuff i actually would recommend you go look at cody alexander if you're wanting to find in my opinion one of the best teachers of defensive back work but with all that being said let's talk about what pattern match or cover two match or cover four match means okay as opposed to a spot drop so I'm going to give you basically how we would do like cover two read and with it being a match, okay, uh, where we're not running to landmark. So old school way, you tell your outside linebacker, you got a hook to curl, corner, you got flats, okay, safety, you've got over the top. Nothing inside of you, you got that deep cover two. All right, that's the way it was taught. Essentially, that's usually how they're going to end up. But we now teach reading people, okay, not reading grass because we want our kids stopping the ball so the way we'll teach it a lot now if we're going to do some cover two read is we want to have our guy get his hands and disrupt number two so as he's going my eyes immediately go to two because i want to get contact with him but then i'm going to actually put my eyes on number one and he's going to dictate how i match the zone so if number one runs any kind of inside route inside breaking route it could be a curl could be a dig, could be a slant, could be whatever. I am working to him, okay? If he runs some kind of flat route, like a hitch, okay? Or an out or whatever we're gonna do over here, I'm gonna slowly work to him. I've still got my hands on this guy, but I'm working to that guy. If he runs off, so let's say he runs a go or runs a post or runs anything deep, and you, we've gotta determine where that is, you know, usually it's game to game, but how deep he runs, I'm now matched on, locked on to this kid. Okay, so I'm going to stay on him because nothing has threatened my zone. And that's where, if you look at it, cover two match, four match, whatever you want to call it, comes into play. I'm in this coverage, but we're matching people. So if this guy runs through my zone here and this guy runs into my zone, I am matching up in man with that guy. That's the biggest difference between a spot drop and a match. Because a lot of times that linebacker would hit that guy and his eyes go back on the quarterback, okay, and he never sees this dig curl coming behind him, which is one of the reasons we actually will teach to match that instead of spot drop it, okay? Other thing you'll see a lot of times is we'll work with our safety, same deal. So our safety's eyes are going to be on number two, our corner's eyes are going to be on number two. So when we get this look right there, he knows I am with him and at whatever point, I'm going to match him in zone. Okay, I'm gonna match him in zone. This corner's in the same deal. So what's gonna end up happening on a route like this, okay, more than likely, that corner is gonna read this vertical, communicate the end break, and try to get underneath it. We're actually probably gonna almost double team this, and our outside backer is gonna to have to pick up that dig as a good route, okay? takes a little bit deeper, the safety in the corner will have to communicate that. What's happening is we're both maintaining our leverage. We talked about that before. Corner's outside leverage, safety's inside leverage, and then we're going to match whatever shows up inside that zone. This is a simple example. You can do all the different routes you want, but if you teach the kids the concepts of how we're going to match things, then it just becomes a, 
All right, let's go through their basic plays and make how we want to match that. And that's the big difference you'll see between old cover two, cover four, cover three, and cover two match, cover three match, cover four match, is we are going to end up matching. It's basically going to turn into man-to-man -man after probably two seconds. But we're not going to have our ask our guys to chase guys running across on all the mesh routes. And so a lot of teams are going to this instead of going to man to try to match different things up, uh, as opposed to man-to-man, -man where you know offenses now are pretty good at running pick routes and that stuff. It also looks a lot like what man can look like, so it's easy to go from a matchup zone into man without really tipping your hand. So, hope you got something from that. Again, highly recommend Cody Alexander if you really want to get into deep DB play. Uh, if you want to get into how we do things, again, my book is out and it's going to talk about our cover two match, how we roll. One of our, my favorite things we do is we can roll to all kinds of different cover three looks with one word tags. And that's in there if you want it. Uh, or you can just hit me up on Twitter. You can email me, fbcoachsimpson at gmail.com. Or you can just comment on this video. Appreciate you guys. If you would, like and subscribe to this channel, I'd appreciate it. Thank you.